Hello everyone, and welcome to another Iron Mind Map 10 tutorial, this time on Brainstorm View. So we're going to start by entering the name of our Brainstorm. We're going to go with Week Plan for this one and click Start. So the foundation of your Brainstorm workspace is creating ideas. Uh, they're very easy to create. You can use the icon up in the toolbar or simply double click on the canvas. Then you can change the size by dragging on the anchor points and clicking and dragging the idea can move it around the canvas. So we're just going to go ahead and sort of fast forward here and create a bunch of different ideas. Once you have your ideas, you can start grouping them into different categories for further organization. So I've created a group called meetings and we're going to grab all of the tasks related to meeting people and drag them into the group. And it's as simple as that, really. That's how you sort your ideas. And anything to do with health and safety, you can go in there. And one last one, just called external work. And we'll drag that one in there. So we have three groups, and they each have tasks in them. And if you see associations between different tasks within different groups, you can drag relationships between them. So you just click the little icon in the toolbar to hit relationship, and then you can just drag lines between them so you can clearly see that they're connected. So the next thing is creating lists. So again, up in the toolbar, you can create a list and you can simply type in each individual idea and they will be presented to you in a list form rather than as a group. And you can still drag relationships between lists and tasks and groups. Uh, there's no kind of restrictions on that at all. And if you want to convert a group into a list or vice versa, just going to hit that and bam, our list becomes a group. And all of the ideas are expanded upon or you can convert that back into a more concise list form. Next, we can add images into our workspace. So we're just going to go search for London there and grab an image just to go next to our London speech. Um, images give you a nice way of just visually representing some of your ideas and notes. Um, so you can quickly recall information uh, without having to read through your whole map. And you can create relationships between images as well. Next is icons, and you can, from the icon list, simply click an idea and then click the icon that you think best represents it, and that will attach the icon. Um, you can also drag icons out to the tasks and the groups to assign them. Uh, really, it's just down to your own preference. Last thing is formatting. So using the format sidebar, you can change the color of your ideas, you can change the size, and you can also change those things with the groups and lists as well as you can the ideas themselves. And we're going to close the sidebar up and look at our basic finished brainstorm map. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.